Indian Energy Exchange sets record in July with 56% year-on-year increase. The electricity volume at 10,093 million units increased 29% year-on-year. Green electricity volume during the month at 1 billion units grew 259% year-on-year. Tata Passenger Electric Mobility Limited and Tata Power Renewable Energy Limited collaborate to drive zero emissions mobility in India. Solar rooftop systems offer a compelling business case for customers. By pairing electric vehicles with solar rooftop systems, customers can reduce the total cost of ownership for their electric vehicles, lower their electricity bills, and accelerate the payback period for their solar investment. Government to support establishment of 7,432 electric vehicle public charging stations across India. Out of a total of 8,412 electric vehicle public charging stations allotted to oil marketing companies under the FAME2 scheme, 438 electric vehicle public charging stations are sanctioned for installation in Madhya Pradesh and 552 electric vehicle public charging stations in Rajasthan. Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency allocates 1.05 crore rupees for Sports Science Center in Uttarakhand. A memorandum of agreement was signed between the Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, a Navratna PSU under the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, and SEWATHDC for providing financial assistance to develop a sports science center hall at Koteshwar. Terry aiming to support the training of Indian athletes in the kayaking and canoeing discipline. Government aims to achieve 1.5 billion tons of coal production by FY30. A major focus is shifting coal transport from 64% to 75% by rail by FY 2030. This effort is geared towards achieving the coal production target of Vision 2030 and Vixet Bharat 2047. Government to boost small hydropower projects across India. For larger hydro projects exceeding 25 megawatt, the Central Electricity Authority carried out reassessment studies from 2017 to 2023. These studies focused on optimal river basin utilization, head availability, and adequate hydrology. 